Welcome to an overview of the Graph Course Hub project. My name is Paul Hibbets. Every story has a beginning, and for this story, the beginning can be summarized by this one screenshot. In 2014, I was teaching my long-running user interface design course at Simon Fraser University for the first time using the Canvas LMS. I put a fair bit of time into what you see here, trying to shape Canvas into what I would want my students to experience. I consider myself pretty tech savvy, and while the Canvas LMS is fairly easy to use, I could still not do what I really wanted to do in terms of the features and experience for my course. It was at this point I started thinking of some sort of alternative front end to Canvas, where I would have complete freedom in terms of the features and experience that I wanted for my students. As time went on, I started using the term flipped LMS to describe this approach I was developing. So, what is a flipped LMS? Well, my definition is, a flipped LMS approach is where an open platform, in the control of course participants, serves as an alternative front end to the institutional LMS. Here's a diagram to help you visualize this approach better. You can see that we have a course hub in the center of the diagram, which is the alternative front end that our students experience. And then we choose the elements of the LMS we want and link back to them from within the course hub. As you can see, there is still an LMS involved, and since the student data is stored there, but now only the LMS elements best suited for a course are actually used, and you are generally free from the constraints of the LMS. So why would you want to flip an LMS? Well, the most important reason is to support pedagogical goals that are unmet by the current LMS, and by using alternative front end to the LMS, you will have much more freedom and options in terms of choosing the components best suited for your students. We also want to flip the LMS to deliver a better student experience, and that as well means a better facilitator experience. We want multi-device friendly materials presented with a modern and responsive user interface. Lastly, for myself, I also want to increase the capability of access, sharing, and collaboration. More on this aspect later. Now we must ask, what will you flip the LMS with? Really, the whole idea here is that you, as the instructor educator, would choose what you want to flip the LMS with. I, however, would suggest that if you, if you are going to flip the LMS, flip it with not only an open platform, but a collaborative platform one that your students can also contribute to. In my experience, and after looking at all kinds of possible alternative front-end platforms, I chose to use Grav, a modern open source flat file CMS. The term flat file means that no database is required by Grav. What that means is that instead of content being stored in, i.e. locked into a database, it is stored as simple individual files. As an educator, there are a couple of key benefits to flat file CMSs. No database means little or no IT involvement, as you're not dealing with database access or security issues. Portability is easier. You can do a simple file copy to change or move servers. The really interesting thing, though, is because everything is just a file, you can take advantage of today's modern collaborative ecosystem like GitHub or GitLab. So this flipped LMS approach is coming together for me in the fall of 2015, and naturally I want to try it out with my students to see what they would think of it. I decided to use Grav, the flat file CMS that I just showed you a bit of, and GitHub, along with my university's LMS, which was Canvas, for my upcoming 363 course. Here are some examples of a 363 course hub on a small screen device. On the home page, you can see there's an important reminders area immediately vis visible for the students, regardless of screen size. There is also a highly visible required reading quiz link, which will take the student directly to that quiz within Canvas. Next to the home page is the course resources page, and in the site menu shown, you can also see a link entitled Edit This Page on GitHub. By combining the power of GitHub with Grav, your students can propose changes to anything that they see on this course hub through a modern and collaborative file revision system. And this is not just content, by the way. I teach computing science, and so many of my students could even help me with CSS or Twig programming and actually change the behavior of the course hub that they themselves use. Here we are looking at the desktop version of the course resources page, and now you see a visible link to edit the content of this page. Clicking on that link will take you directly to GitHub, where the course hub page is stored. Here, a student can make suggested changes to this page and then submit them for review. Here we're back at the 363 course hub homepage, but this time on the desktop. Let's take a look at that required reading quiz button that I mentioned before. It's a deep link 
that goes to this Canvas LMS quiz page. If the student is not already authenticated by the university sign-in system, they'll be asked to authenticate and then once authenticated, they will be taken to this page. Next, I'd like to give you a look at what updating a Grav Course Hub looks like for the instructor. First of all, back to why a flat file CMS. It's kind of like what's old is new again. Some of you may remember modifying a website on your desktop with something like Dreamweaver and then uploading files to a server. Of course, that was quite limiting as sites are quite static in nature. Database CMSs came along, dynamic content was possible, but overall complexity was increased. And often, a database CMS is really overkill for the needs of an individual instructor. So what you're looking at here is a screenshot of a Grav website on my Mac desktop where all the pages of my site are represented by files and folders. Now, like many other CMSs, such as WordPress, Grav has an admin panel that you can use to easily edit content. However, as we just saw, Grav is file-based, so you can also edit a Grav site using any text editor that you choose. For example, here is the file where my important reminders are stored, displayed in Adobe Brackets. A couple things. You might notice that this is not HTML, but a different format, and this format is actually called Markdown. Markdown is a shorthand for things that would require tags in HTML. For example, five number signs means H5, and an asterisk sign space means a list item. I find it easier as an instructor to create and update my course materials in Markdown than trying to remember to open and close HTML tags. However, you can use as much or as little HTML as you like within a Markdown file. So now let's continue and add a new reminder for my course hub. So I've got that added to the file. And now I'm going to use a great little application called GitHub Desktop. Essentially, GitHub Desktop lets me use GitHub or a locally hosted GitLab instance for a distributed revision control with just a few button clicks. Here you see the file I just edited with changes made to the file highlighted in color. This feature is invaluable when reviewing changes that your students are proposing to the course hub. Clicking the Commit and Sync Master button will send the file changes to the GitHub repository, and then those changed files can be automatically sent to your web server. So are you wondering how long that site update would take? Well, it would take about 30 seconds. And honestly, in 30 seconds, I can barely log into my LMS and even just navigate to the page I want to edit. So after I went through this experience with my SFU course, learning a lot of things along the way, and developing this flipped LMS approach, I wondered what I could do to help other tech-savvy educators and instructors get going and flip their own LMS. I decided to create a ready-to-run, open-source Grav skeleton package that other instructors could quickly install and then further customize as needed. This project, called Grav Course Hub, is now available on GitHub, along with a number of related how-to articles at my blog at hibbetsdesign.org. The Grav Course Hub is available in two basic flavors, Bootstrap and Zurb Foundation, which are two of the most popular responsive HTML frameworks available. As you can see, the default design of the course hub is pretty basic. Classes are blog style entries on the front page. You can display any required class preparations. There's an area for important reminders, a sidebar that you can further customize, and you can add as many other pages as you need for the course. There's also built-in support for using GitHub or a locally hosted GitLab server to enable collaboration with not only your students, but also fellow educators or even other grad developers. Any submitted changes are first sent to you as a site administrator for you to review and approve. So what about the skills required to use the Grav Course Hub? At this point, it's really more for tech savvy educators. For example, you should be comfortable with editing text files either on the desktop or through an FTP client. You should be familiar with the basics of Markdown and or HTML formatting, and you should know how to access a web server via an FTP client. Here's my contact information and some resources about Grav and the Grav Course Hub, including a more detailed post about why, as an instructor, I chose Grav. Happy to answer your questions on Twitter at Hibbets Design or email me directly at paul at Bye for now.